Hey everyone, this is Jared. I'm here to show you how to set up your Ingenious EOC 2611P wireless long-range multifunction access point. The first step in configuring your EOC 2611P is to plug in one end of the Ethernet cable into the RJ45 port on the back of the device, and the other end of the Ethernet cable into the PoE port of the PoE injector. Next, you'll want to plug another Ethernet cable into the LAN port of the PoE injector and then plug the other end of the Ethernet cable into your PC or laptop. Finally, insert the DC inlet of the power adapter into the port labeled DCN on the PoE injector, and plug the power supply into a nearby socket. Now that the EOC 2611P is running, you'll need to configure a few settings before using the device. In order to log into the device, you'll need to configure the TCP IP settings of your PC or notebook. On the control panel for your PC, Double click on Network Connections. Next, click on Manage Network Connections from the left hand menu. Then right click on Local Area Connection and select Properties from the drop down menu. Select Internet Protocol TCP IP and then click on the Properties button. Select the Use the Following IP Address Radio button and then enter the IP address 192.168. Dot one, dot two one, and subnet mask 255.255.255.0. Please ensure that the IP address and subnet mask are on the same subnet as the EOC 2611P. To log into your EOC 2611P from a web browser, simply put in the IP address of the bridge, default being 192.168.1.1 into your address bar. When the login box appears, type admin for both the username and password and click OK. Click on the administration link under the management menu. This option will allow you to create a new username and password. This is highly recommended for security purposes. Once you've entered your username and password, click on the Apply button to save your changes. To configure the device, click on the System Properties link on the System drop-down menu. Enter the name of the device. This is not the SSID. This name is for monitoring and identifying your device through network management software. Select your country region from the drop-down menu and then select your operation mode. Click Apply to save your changes. To set up your wireless network settings, click on the wireless network link under the wireless drop-down menu. Specify your wireless mode as either B, G, or B and G mixed. We recommend using B and G mixed. Select a channel from the drop-down list. Channels available are based on the country's regulation. The preferred method is to check the auto checkbox. To set up your wireless network name, security settings, VLAN ID, or user isolation, click the edit button. To change your wireless SSID name, enter a new SSID name in the dialog box under SSID option. If you have VLAN enabled tagging on your network, specify the VLAN tag ID under the VLAN ID option. To suppress an SSID so that wireless clients will not be able to scan it in a site survey, click on the Suppressed SSID option. To disable clients connected to an access point from communicating with one another, select the Station Separator option. To set your wireless security mode, select either WEP, WPA, WPA PSK, WPA2, WPA2 PSK or WPA Mixed under the Security Mode drop down menu. We recommend using WPA2 PSK option if you want the most secure wireless network. Enter your desired password under the Passphrase option. Click Apply to save your changes. If you want to increase or adjust your wireless coverage area, select Wireless Advanced Settings located in the wireless section. Select the transmit power option, click apply to save your changes. 
To configure your LAN interface using a static IP or as a DHCP client, click the IP settings link on the system drop down menu. Under IP network setting, select the obtain an IP address automatically DHCP radio button if the access point is connected to a DHCP server. This will allow the access point to get an IP address automatically from the DHCP server. Select the specify an IP address radio button if you'd like the device to use a static IP address. If you select this option, you'll be required to specify an IP address, subnet mask, and default gateway IP address. We recommend using a static IP for this device. Click apply to save your changes. To set up your device as a client bridge, under the system section, select system properties. Then select client bridge under operation mode. Click apply to save your changes. Next, under the wireless section, select wireless network. Then click the site survey button. From the results list, select the SSID you want to connect to by clicking on the BSSID field. If encryption is enabled on your main access point, you'll need to enter the same password in the dialog box. If you want to boost your network's range, adjust the transmit power option. If everything is running correctly, you want to change your computer's IP back to automatic. Your computer should now receive an IP address from your DHCP server. Your configuration should be complete.